The United States has always been enriched by diverse communities and cultures. But millions of Americans have also suffered from prejudice and injustice. That was the case for Afang Moi, who is believed to be the first Chinese woman to step onto American soil. Afang was just a teenager when a merchant, Captain Benjamin Aubert, paid to bring her from China to the United States to help him sell Chinese imported goods to Americans. Arriving in New York City in 1834, she was the first recorded Chinese woman to visit the U.S. Aubert displayed Afang in an exhibit in his home, dressed in traditional Chinese clothing and surrounded by his imported goods. The exhibit was wildly popular, and Afang's presence sparked an American fascination with Chinese culture. Afang toured North America, attracting public interest wherever she went. One of her tours stretched over 1,000 miles, and she was the first Chinese person to meet a sitting U.S. president. Afung passed from Aubert's custody to other handlers, who would put her on display. She was disrespected and dehumanized. Historians are not even sure if Afung Moi was her given name. Afung had bound feet, which used to be a symbol of honor and social standing in China. It was taboo for women to show their unwrapped feet in China, but Afung was forced to display her feet for American audiences many times during her tour. Americans found the practice of foot-binding cruel and believed it proved that the Chinese were barbaric. With very little English, Afung was unable to explain the tradition to her audiences. Cultural misunderstandings like this would lead to the rise of anti-Chinese sentiment in the U.S. Just before Afung was due to return to China, a fire destroyed her handlers' warehouses. To make up for their losses, they kept Afung working for them. And when they went bankrupt in 1837, they abandoned her in a New Jersey poorhouse. Afung briefly joined P.T. Barnum's traveling show, but there are no records of her life beyond 1851. Her disturbing story serves as an early example of anti-Asian prejudice and discrimination in America. How did Afung Moi's experiences shape the public perception of Chinese people in the U.S.?